So you'll have them start about two feet away from you. And so you kind of hold this with your fingers and you put like your thumb up to your nose. And so what you're trying to do here is you're trying to look right at the beads and what you should see with the beads, I'm gonna spread them out a little bit more. If I give you this so you can kind of Let's see it yourself. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you're looking at the green bead, how many strings do you see going into the green bead? There's two strings. Mm -hmm. And how many are leaving? Um, Keep looking at the green bead. How many do you see leaving? Uh, two. Yes. How many yellow beads do you see? Uh, two. Good. And how many red beads? Two. Perfect. So what you just experienced there, I can grab this real quick, is called physiological diplopia, and that's what you should be seeing. Okay. So whenever you're looking at the green bead, that's your specific target. Everything that's in this area will be single, but everything that's outside of it will be double. Okay. And so what you can do over time is if you go back to here, you can switch between looking at the green bead and then the yellow bead, the red bead, and do you kind of see how the strings kind of cross as you move out and then these beads start to double? Mm -hmm. And so what will happen over time is you can jump from bead to bead and you can even do what we call bug on a string. And so that's when you imagine the bead moving. And so you kind of take that X and you move it along and then you can move it back kind okay. of thing. And so the ultimate goal is you want to get these strings or these beads to be about two inches from you. So you're really crossing, really looking at this bead, and then you're looking at this one, and this one, and so on. And so your eyes will be able to jump and move and cross mm -hmm. all on their own. So, so when do you move them up? You just do that? When you're able to keep them single, and when that cross that we're talking about, because you see the two going in and the two leaving. So you, this should be one, eventually when you train yes. your eyes, this will be one thing here, and then two coming out of here, and two there. Mm -hmm. And so that cross that the two strings going in and the two strings leaving, those should always be directly on the bead. If they're in front of the bead, you want to make sure you're moving them out, and if they're behind the bead, you want to make sure you move it in so that they're crossing right at the bead every time. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Great.